whenever we talk about the actual area and also compare with area from the map we are talking about the similar shape so it's obviously related to l1 to l2 if we give you the length ratio one to r then a1 area one to area two is equal to one square to r square we are going to use this relation uh, usually in the previous year question they give you the length ratio which is the scale of the map and then you are going to get the area but now this question is reversed they give you the actual area and the area on the map that means they give you A1 to A2 I get used to write down uh, the smaller one first and then compare with the actual one so I define the map area is A1 and the actual area is A2 and because they have different units so don't forget to write down your units into your ratio the ratio map is 0 uh, 300 cm square 0 0.75 km square so uh, from A1 to A2 if you want to get back the length ratio that means the scale of the map we are going to take square wood to recover that so therefore L1 to L2 is equal to square root 300 cm square and then to 0 .7, square root 0 0.75 km square this is square root 300 and then cm square can offset with the square root that's why it becomes cm similar reason for km square root 0 0.75 and then we have km power of 1 basically is the un very close to the answer but only difference is the units are not the same so I try to change km into cm just simply use what you have learned in primary school km that means 1000 meter and then we are going to change m to how many cm 1000 meter that means 100 cm once we find that we have both cm and cm then we both sides divided by cm therefore our final answer is square root 300 to 100,000 square root 0 0.75 and then you may just simply use calculator this item divided by this item it will give you 2 times 10 power of negative 4 and then you change it to fraction form you will get 1 over 5000 so our answer is B but if you don't want to use calculator how can you simplify this one you may try to multiply square root 0 0.75 on both sides because it's basically a fraction so if you both sides times the same value then you won't change the value of the fraction or the ratio and this gives you square root 225 which you can simplify it and then this will become 0 0.75 therefore it's become 15 to 75000 and then divide both sides by 15 we get 1 to 5000